Welcome, Executioner. I see you've arrived safe and sound, as expected. Law and order thrive here, as you'll soon witness firsthand. Although the name Executioner is hated by many, and perceived as an inhuman, bloody, and tyrannical office, in truth, one does not sin if they act on orders out of justice as God's servant. On the scaffold, our foremost concern is to deliver a good death for our poor sinner. We are not butchers. Public execution is a divine theater of justice and redemption. A carefully orchestrated drama designed to inspire goodness as well as impress our authority. I will announce the crime and the sentence. Then, the poor sinner will have an opportunity to speak their last words. I shall then declare, May God have mercy upon your soul, and you shall strike the neck from behind, chopping off the head with a single, graceful blow. Know that by taking this position, you must carry out every command I give without question. Absolute obedience is required. We are but humble servants of the law, and ours is the sentence to execute. Your first poor sinner will be the murderer Hens Lahumsen. I've been told he's feeling cheerful. <sighs> Sign here to accept your position, and I'll see you in the morning. Excellent. I look forward to working with you. Good citizens of Ulrich Schaffen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor sinner, the murderer Hensla Humsen. Hensla also known as Stubborn Marty, is a thief and a robber. He roamed the countryside, attacking isolated farmsteads by night. The family Stiglitzen, the family Meissner, Krauss, Arichler, Merkel, and more. He, along with three companions, bound, tortured, and did violence to innocent people robbing them of money, clothes, and forcing himself upon women and girls. This ain't good enough for him. These crimes, being against the law of the land, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this man shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any Please final words? Oh, Bado, you're too calm. What a fine introduction you've given me. Although, I'm afraid my performance is said to be a short one. <sighs> Get on with it. Good Christian people, I have come hither to die. I have lived a life of a sinner, and an happy one at that. <laughs> Therefore, I have offended my Lord God. I've been told by these kind lords that I must ask him heartily for forgiveness. Sorry, God. We'll do it again, I swear. <laughs> Father, into your hands. Oh, can't we just get on with it? I've got places to be. <laughs> oh, very well, then. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner. You may proceed. Down on your knees, sinner. You're getting off light! You did very well today. Here's your pay, plus a little extra.
A stubborn man, right up until the end. I assure you that our poor sinners are usually more repentant. A good death should be a drama of divine redemption. The poor sinner acknowledges and atones for their crimes, accepting their punishment voluntarily. In return, they are granted a swift death and the promise of salvation. And our divine authority is reaffirmed. Please don't touch that. Let us hope that our next convict is more compliant. Good citizens of Ulrichshafen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor sinner, the murderer Matthias Sturz, a veteran soldier of three campaigns. Exactly! Fifteen years of service, and this is my reward! Quiet! Do not interrupt me. After all my dick, you bastard. This man has been found guilty of stabbing a ditch digger by the name of Michael Schober near the West Gate. He supposedly begged from him. He had an evil look in his eye. When a nearby citizen, Peter Cochill, asked why he had attacked the ditch digger, Matus, enraged, stabbed Herr Cochill too. He was soon after arrested by the town guard. So they'll happily pay you to kill when it suits them. Then act all upset the one time it don't. And I'm the sinner. These crimes being it. against the law of the land, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this man shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any more final words? Oh, fuck it. Get on with it. Father. Into your hands, I commend my soul spirit. May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner, you may proceed. Down on your knees, sinner! I heard he fucked a chicken! Well then, what is just and legal pleases me. That was an exemplary performance today. Here's your pay, plus a small bonus. Matis Sturz. Imagine using his mercenary past as an excuse for such cruelty. <laughs> Those he killed were not enemies of the realm, but innocents. Surely he must have known the difference. To kill as a soldier is a necessary act of service. Must you do that? Must you do that? As is the role of executioner, at that. Our power is granted to protect and serve, not to selfishly abuse. I'm glad that you, at least, understand the difference. Citizens of Ulrich Schaffen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of the tailor, Georg Reichel, who has been found guilty of the murder of his adulterous wife, Marguerite Reichel, and her illicit lover, 
Reinhard Kleiswetter, who was also married. Reichel was so enraged upon the discovery of the pair in bed that he took up a nearby candlestick and bludgeoned the couple to death. This crime being against the law of the land, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this man shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any final words? She deserved it! Good people. I am so sorry for what I've done. There is no excuse for my crime. I wish that I had not <laughs> murdered my wife and... Be on with it! I'm filled with regret. <laughs> I do not deserve forgiveness, though I pray that the Lord have mercy on my soul. I'm sorry, my love. <laughs> Look at him! He's shaking like a leaf! <laughs> May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner, you may proceed. Down on your knees, sinner. Well done. What is just and legal pleases me. That was an exemplary performance today. Here's your pay, plus a small bonus. A foolish crime of passion. But he acknowledged and regretted his actions, asking for forgiveness from God in the proper manner. A good death. Good citizens of Ulrichshafen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor sinner, the Easterner Ahava, who is convicted of thievery. She worked here in Ulrichshafen as a maid, stealing a fine dress from her previous mistress, and fifteen taller from the safe box of her current master, the noble Zeus von Fersch. These crimes being against the law of the land, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this woman shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any final words? Feed him to the dogs! I have come hither to die. I confess myself guilty of this crime. I, I, I regret that I stole. It was foolish, and now I pay the price. To my family, I am sorry that I have let you down. I hope you can forgive me. Indeed. Executioner, you may proceed. Down on your knees, sinner. Kill her already! Mercy, God, let my death. For all the wrong decisions in my life. Well done. You have executed as judgment and law have required. You did very well today. Here's your pay, plus a little extra. Another thief from the east. Good citizens of Ulrich Sutton, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor thing, the thief Benedict Felbinger, also known as the Devil's Lamb. This individual is guilty of many instances of thievery. His time spent working in a chain gang did no good to reform him from his evil ways. Yeah! Neither did his fifteen separate temporary imprisonments, 
nor his eleven banishments, all of which he has broken, <laughs> returning again and again to Ulrich Schaffen to continue thieving. Benedict Felbinger leaves us with no further choice and must serve as an example to those who would continue to flout the mercy and justice of the realm. As such, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this man shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any final words? No. <laughs> Do you not wish to ask forgiveness of the Lord, that you might die in a good and righteous way? Dear Father up in heaven, I'm very sorry. Sorry I got caught. <laughs> <sighs> Very well. May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner, you may proceed. Wait, d don't do this. G give me another chance. You deserve you it. You had enough chances, boy. Please. Down on your knees, sinner. Skinny bastard. You can take his head off with a sneeze. Keep your chin up, mate. <laughs> well done. What is just and legal pleases me. You did very well today. Here's your pay, plus a little extra. Shame to see one so young throw their life away. But he was given plenty of chances to turn things around. Citizens of Ulrich Schaffen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor sinner, Anna Arnoldin, who has been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of her husband, Johann Arnoldin. On the 14th of September of this year, Mrs. Arnoldin, with premeditation, stabbed her husband to death as he slept. Having broken the sacred vow between man and woman, and this crime being against the law of the land, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this woman shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Yeah! Do you have any final she did nothing words? Wrong. She deserves it! I have come hither to die. In your eyes I am a poor sinner, and I do. Confess myself guilty before God. Yet I do not regret my actions. <laughs> my husband was a monster. You all knew this. He beat me and raped me while you all stood by and did nothing. I would prefer to die a sinner than to have lived a life with him. Still, I pray to the Lord above for forgiveness. Father, in your hands I commend my spirit. Mercy. May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner, you may proceed. Down on your knees, sinner! <laughs> Kill the bitch! <laughs> Please, go ahead. There's no honour in this. I've got a job to get to you, don't worry, huh? Get on with me! It's time. of the lords of Ulrichshofen. You think yourself judge as well as executioner, do you? 
You should know your place. I'll see to it that you never work again. You disgust me. Get out of my sight!